So here I will start with a couple of examples and um, then I'm going to talk in general terms and then finally I'll give you some questions to do. So this is the second part. This is um, the same example that we had in the first part or one of the examples that we had and this was for flipping a fair coin three times and what is the probability of getting two heads and we said that this can be uh, found in the binomial distribution because the way the scenario is set out. Okay, so this is actually the binomial distribution for three trials and probability of success half. Okay, and, and that is here. Okay, so probability of success is half and there's three trials. Notice that it didn't have to be um, about a coin. It could have been that I could have said um, roll a fair six-sided die three times and uh, what is the probability of getting an even number? Now, the probability of getting an even number is the same, which is a half. And, you know, if I roll a dice three times, that's three trials, okay? So that dice example that I just described also is explained through this distribution here, okay? So, and this is the binomial distribution that is um, n trials, so that is three trials and probability half, okay? So notice that it's for, it's for this example, and this is also for the other example that I just said. Okay, so I'm going to say it again. So this could be used, and this table could be used for the example if, if it was, we roll a fair six-sided die three times. Okay, so that's the three there. And we are interested in the probability of um, getting two, uh, getting an even number twice. Okay, so getting an even number is the probability half and getting it twice, so that would be this position here in the binomial distribution. Remember that this is describing all of this. Okay, so this one, I just described two examples that you can use with this one here. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is how exactly are we finding these numbers? Okay, so I'm going to show you this example, one more example, and then I'll do it in general terms. So for this example, we are actually interested in two successes, so getting two heads, where heads is success, let's say, okay? Now, if we get two heads, that means the, the other one must have been a tail. Now, we don't really care about the order when it comes to binomial distribution, okay? That's important, okay? So the order does not, uh, the order is not taken into account when we're thinking about binomial distribution. So two heads in any order, and the other one must be a tail. Okay, so how exactly are we getting this three-eighths probability? Okay, let's see. So what we have is we have three parts to this. Okay, so three parts. So let me do it in three different colors. The first part is that we need to find a coefficient. Okay, so each of these will have a coefficient. Okay, and you can find those coefficients using a function that, that will be on your calculator, okay, and, I, and I'll show you a calculator and where uh, the, that button will be. Okay, so for this one here, we are doing three trials and we want two, okay. So on the calculator, the way it will appear is you would put three and then C and two, okay. And this C here is the NCR button on your calculator. So NCR button on the calculator, I will show that in a bit, okay? So we need a coefficient that we're gonna multiply and this is going to be it. Then we're going to multiply that to the probability of successes and the number, number of them, and we're gonna raise it to the power of the number that we need, so it's two, okay? So the probability is half, so I'm gonna say half, and I need to raise that to the power of two because I need two successes here. Now I also need to multiply it to uh, the probability of one tail. Okay, so notice that this is one tail here. And this calculation here will give me three apes. Okay, so three C two, I can tell you on the calculator gives three. Okay, and then this middle bit here, half times half, is one quarter. And finally, this is still a half here. Okay, so these are the three sections. And then if I multiply all of this, you can see that I would get three times one over eight. Three times one over eight is three eighths. Okay, so this is how we get this number. Okay, so if the question was to find the probability of getting two heads when a fair coin is flipped three times, you can use this method, okay? Now, for three times, okay, maybe you can use other methods as well, but say we had 10 here, 
how would that change it? So we flip a coin 10 times and we want two heads. So that would be 10C2 times half to the power of 2 times half to the power of 8 because there would be two heads and eight tails. Okay, so that would be for a different example. Okay, so that's how we get the binomial distribution that you can use. Okay, so this is one way actually, but there are some other ways that you can use. Also another thing, these do not have to be fractions. Okay, they can, they can be decimals. So we could have said 0 0.375 because this is also 0 0.375. That won't make any difference. Here's another example. This time I will show you um, the button that I was talking about, the so NCR button on the calculator when I do it. So the question is, uh, it says, roll a fair six-sided die seven times. So that's happening. And then what is the probability of rolling a five four times? Okay. So the probability of rolling a five is going to be one over six. So the probability is one over six. And I know the probability of not getting a five would be 5 over 6, okay? So we can use Q for this, and um, that's what I'm going to use. So it's going to be 5 over 6 for not rolling a 5. So the probability of success is 1 6. Probability of a non-success is 5 over 6, okay? Now, it's going to be 7 independent trials, okay? And I'm looking for 4 of them. So this is the binomial distribution, which is binomial distribution, and then there's seven trials, and the probability of success is one six. Notice that the five six is not written here, but we know that it's going to be five six because to find that we would just do one take away whatever this one is. Okay. Now we want to find this particular probability in the distribution, not the whole thing. So let's see how we're going to do this. So in the last example, I said that we need a coefficient. So there's three parts. So the coefficient. This time I'll do it in different colors. So the coefficient is found using this button here. Can you see here where I'm pointing, NCR? So you would press Shift and then this button to get that C up. Okay, so the way you would type it into your calculator would be like this. So you would say 7 and then you're going to press Shift and then this button here. And what will appear normally in your calculator is a C like this. And then after that, we are looking for 4 because we want 4 times the 5 to be rolled. Okay, so we're looking for four successes. So 4. Okay, so N, C, 7, C, and then 4 here. So this is your coefficient. Then we need to multiply that to, so we're going to multiply that to the probability of success raised to the power that we require. So it's four of them. Okay, so it's going to be times by 1 over 6 to the power of 4. Okay. Then we're going to say um, times by, the rest of them have to be fails, okay? So there's four of them here. Now seven take away four is three, so there's three left. So we need probability of fail, which is five over six, to the power of three. So it's going to be uh, written like this. So five over six to the power of three, okay? So notice how we are doing seven trials and we want four successes, okay? Probability of success is one sixth, and we want four of them, so this is gonna get raised to the power of four. Remember there's seven trials, so we need another three, okay? And they, those three would be fails, okay? And the probability of a fail is five over six, so that gets raised to the power of three. Now if you type that into your calculator, you will get your answer, okay? So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I've put this into my calculator, and got a very long decimal number. I'm going to approximate to three significant figures. So that's going to be 0 0.0156 and this is to three significant figures. Okay, so I suggest that you check this on your calculator, see if you get the same thing. Okay, so it's 0 0.0156285722245. That's what I've got and I've rounded it to three significant figures here. Okay, so this is the probability that we will roll a five four times when we roll a fair six-sided die seven times, okay? So this is the probability for this one, okay? Now, we can change it, okay, and, f and find another example. So I'm going to use the same scenario, maybe, or similar scenario to do one more example on this same page here. 
So here's another example. What is the probability of rolling a multiple of three five times when a fair six-sided die is rolled eight times? Okay, so the binomial distribution that can be used to find this probability would be the binomial distribution with eight trials, and we need to find the probability of success. So what is the probability of rolling a multiple of three? Now, a multiple of three in a six-sided dice, so that would be the number three and the number six, so that's two of them out of the six. So it's two out of six, but two out of six is one-third. So I'll write two out of six here, but you can write one-third as well. Okay? Now, uh, this is the binomial distribution. Now, this represents all the probabilities in the scenario, but we're looking for uh, this to happen five times. Okay, so let's write out our three sections in our calculation and then work from there. So first, the coefficient. So that would be eight choose five. Okay, so we, need, we want uh, the number of successes to be five. So let's do that. So it's going to be eight choose five. And then we're going to multiply it to the probability of success raised to the power of five. Okay, so let's do that. So times by, this time I'm going to write one third. So one third raised to the power of five. Okay, remember one third is just the same as two sixths. And finally, we need to multiply it by the probability of fail, uh, the number of times required to get to eight. So We've got five here, and we need another three to get to eight. So that's eight take away five is three, so that would go here. So that would be, if it's one-third for success, the fail must be two-thirds. Okay, so how do I get this two-thirds? Well, it's one take away one-third, which is two-thirds. Or I could say four out of six, because four, four out of six numbers are not multiples of three on a six-sided dice. Okay, and this gets uh, to the, uh, raised to the power of three. So put that there. Okay, I'm going to now put this into my calculator and see what answer I get for this. Okay, so what I've done is I've put that into the calculator and the result that I get, 0 0.0683 when rounded to three significant figures. Okay, so when we roll a die, a fair six-sided die eight times, the probability of getting a multiple of three five of those times and not a multiple of three in the other three times is 0 0.0683. Okay, of course you can put this as a fraction or a percentage, that will be fine as well, but decimal is also okay. Okay, now I want to talk in general terms, so using N and P and X, and um, I'm going to also say Q. Okay, so Q, I'm going to say Q is equal to, so Q is equal to 1 take away P. Okay, so notice that. Remember when it was 1 third, Q was 2 thirds, so because 1 take away 1 third is 2 thirds. Okay, and the other examples that we had as well. So this time we're looking at N independent trials, and we're looking for the probability of X number of successes. Okay, so this will be the binomial distribution with n trials and probability of success p, okay? And how would I find this here? So what's the probability of x successes for this one here? Okay, so remember, we don't always want the whole distribution. We might want a particular probability from it. So let's find that one. So it's going to be n choose, so n choose x. Remember, in the last example, we had eight rolls of the dice, so n was eight, and we wanted five successes, five times for it to come to a multiple of three, so that's uh, five successes, so this is where that goes, and the n goes here, so n choose x for us here, okay? Next thing we did was we multiplied by, we multiplied by the probability of success. Now, the probability of success is p, so probability of success raised to the power of the number of successes, so the probability of success is p, and it will be p to the power of x because um, we want x number of successes. We want probability of p to be multiplied by itself and for, for, uh, for us to have it to the power of that, okay? And the last thing we had was the probability of fails, and this was raised to the power of whatever was left from n after x is taken away, okay? So this will be n take away x here. So this is raised to the power of n take away x. 
Remember in our last example, our n was 8, x was 5, p was 1 third. Okay, so we had 8 choose 5. We had 1 third here raised to the power of x, which was 5. And we had 2 thirds here, q was 2 thirds, raised to the power of 3. And, and we can get that 3 by doing 8 take away 5. Okay, so this is in general terms how you would find a particular probability in the binomial distribution. Okay, so here um, there's some questions for you. Okay, so use uh, the binomial distribution in the same way I showed in the video to find the probabilities that are described here.